first thing you're going to need to do is go to for shared um, and download the following you're going to need to download the 7 zip you're also going to need to download the dash roms my faves if you need it if you have a my faves phone otherwise you don't need to worry about it this right here is the fix so you will need to download all four of these to do so I click on it go down here to download then it should look like this go ahead and hit download now wait for the time to go up and then download again I'm going to save mine to my desktop so that way it's easy to get to ok once you get the 7-zip downloaded you want to run that and install it um, once you download the rest of everything else like the dash roms and everything else what you want to do on the file is right click it for instance we'll go to this one you go to 7-zip and extract files so zip to extract files second choice since I don't have to do that I'm not going to worry about that um, From the dash roms folder you want to download you'll have all this you want to go to this one here go to this folder double click it and start to run this click on the left side this screen should pop up once it does you go ahead and hit anything on your keyboard Make sure your phone's already plugged in through Active Sync before you start going through this process. This should pop up on your phone, no big deal. Click yes. And hit done. Back on this screen, hit any button to continue. Hit anybody button again. And again. The screen should pop up on your phone. Go ahead and hit the center button. Your screen will go white. That's a good thing. Once your screen goes white, it's back to hitting any button again. You get a screen that pops up that looks like this. Go ahead and click that. And hit the next button. Go ahead and make sure everything's correct on this screen. Then click the next button. process should start up. Okay, once it gets done verifying this screen should pop up. Um, you may have an image version right here. It might be blank. Mine's blank right now. Let's go ahead and click the update button. See it's going to give you this right here. Go ahead and hit next. again and read this very carefully it might take up to 10 minutes for your phone to do what it's got to do so just be patient and as you can see mine's almost finished the screen's still wide on my phone and my phone just restarted you'll get this screen that pops up says congratulations it's rebooting now as you can see with the HTC logo um, this process here will take a few minutes uh, um, it's got to go through a cold boot method so be patient do not unplug anything um, just let it do what it has to do while you're waiting as you can see my phone's still going you can go ahead and click out of everything there 
and I'm still waiting now you should get this screen that pops up oh. you should get the screen that pops up on your phone just take a few seconds once this is done it should uh, reset your phone also so just be patient let it go through its thing it will reboot and be good to go get this screen push ok I don't know why the light keeps clicking on that and it will reboot I'm trying to save time so if you see it kind of cutting in and out with the video that's why um, so be patient now my phone is turned back on and it is rebooting there it goes you gotta love how slow these phones are and voila there's the update you can use the side key here to scroll through everything and enjoy if you need to know anything else um, go ahead and watch video 2 it will give you a better detail on how to um, update the keyboard fix and also get your my faves on your phone as well um, and enjoy